today we're going to go over a squat version called the ground up squat uh, i use this a lot to help guys girls athletes um, elderly patients low back pain patients start to open up their hamstrings relax their hamstrings relax their low back teach them to get down to a toe touch uh, you know often it's, it's really powerful to show somebody that um, they're not sort of blocked away from their toes. People believe that, oh, I've never touched my toes. I won't be able to touch my toes. Simply not the case. Uh, often they just don't understand the coordination required between knees, hamstrings, hips, pelvis, low back, and how they're supposed to do it. This treat uh, teaches really well um, the pelvic rolling portion, um, and it also helps uh, get that sort of roll of the upper back that people tend to stay really straight and aren't able to flex through there either. It's called the ground up squat. Here's how it goes. Starting position is sort of squat width or a tiny bit wider. Remembering squat width isn't shoulder width like this. Your shoulders need to be able to fit in between your legs to get a really good uh, hip push out of it. Uh, so we're nice and wide with those feet, shoulder width. We're coming down, we're gonna grab the toes. And it's really two portions. One is bring the glutes and butt as close to your heels as you can, elbows inside those legs. Then what you're gonna do is straighten those knees the best you can at the top. A good two, three second pause at the top and then come all the way back down again, kind of butt to knees, or sorry, butt to heels all the way down, all the way back up. Same thing, about three seconds. You see the tempo I'm going at here, you know, nice and slow and controlled. Um, depth doesn't matter, you just want to keep working at trying to straighten those knees at the top. Don't let go of those toes, stay tight on those toes with your hands. And then come down, try to get that butt as close to the ground, as close to those heels as evenly as possible. Um, head up at the bottom and then straightening those legs at the top, getting a nice round to the back. It's a ground up squat. Really good if you're getting low back tightness, hamstring tightness, calf tightness, posterior kinetic chain is what we talk about when we talk about folding over in half like this. It's a great way to start opening up that chain. Really prove to yourself that you're doing well here is do a cool toe touch, do about 10 of these, and then try your toe touch again. I can almost guarantee it'll be way better. It's just getting those muscles to coordinate properly through the legs hips, pelvis, and low back. Ground up squat, give it a try.